super flooded out here. Holy moly. Hey, hey, out here at Beaver Beach again. Totally flooded out here. I wasn't expecting this. I kind of was half expecting it, but I didn't think it was gonna be this bad. I actually had an idea way back when, when I first was getting into uh, wildlife photography. There must be some kind of cool way to just like, you know, take the sticks and the branches that you find laying next to the freaking ponds where I usually go and make some kind of like bird blind with it, you know? So I was, I was on the internet looking for uh, new camo pants because I tore out my, the knee on my other ones. Somehow I started coming up with all these bushcraft videos. Now if you don't know what bushcraft is, it's kind of fucking neat. It's basically going out in the woods and just with a saw and a hatchet and a knife and maybe some paracord or some shit. And just making these like neat fucking camps and survival shelters and tripods for cooking, you know, for any, like all kinds of weird shit. Anything that you could possibly envision having out in the woods, you could pretty much make out in the woods. You know, and it's fucking really neat. Well, anyways, it got me to thinking about all this back on the idea of the uh, bird blinds. And I was thinking, oh yeah, that'd be a good freaking idea. So I went out and got me some tools. First thing I picked up is what everybody suggests. So I got the Silky Gomboy 240. the extra large teeth which I found out it's actually cheaper to buy the extra large because the finer the teeth the more expensive the blade or more expensive the saw which is not really made for cutting through small sticks yeah kind of shitty for small sticks Probably shouldn't wipe them on my waders either. <laughs> but these things are badass. I, I actually have a couple of Japanese flesh cut saws that I use for guitar repairs. So it's always, you know, you, you cut with the pull stroke. And the way these teeth are, they freaking rip through anything, like, in seconds. <laughs> so you could, like, severely, severely cut yourself with one of these sons of bitches. But it's nice. It's got, like, two positions. So you can get, like, low to the ground or... You know, just straight cutting. Japanese steel. Gotta love Japanese steel. Comes with this cheap little plastic case, but it's better than nothing. So I can't wait. I'm gonna try this guy out today. The next thing I picked up is a little S-Wing hatchet. My father had one of these fuckers kicking around when I was a kid. Oh, yeah, there we go. Cutting myself already. Yeah, sweet little fucking polished fucking head. It's not really super sharp. I do gotta sharpen it up some more, but I, I, I bought some uh, sharpening stone and shit like that. Made in the USA, but the sheath is made in Taiwan. <laughs> I mean, my saw was made in Japan, but that's kind of where Japanese steel comes from. The other thing I got, which I had this for years actually, I've been using it for like, you know, scraping and stuff like that, doing guitar work. This is actually my father's. It's a buck 119. I've had it for years. He gave it to me. He used to use it for wood carving. When he moved to Florida, he gave me the knife to me because I was doing the guitar repair business. He's like, hey, try this sucker out. It'll probably work pretty good. I'm like, okay. I ain't gonna freaking refuse a gift knife, but yeah, this thing's pretty badass. A lot of people say they're not really great for bushcraft knives, but hey, we'll find out. Let's see. Yeah, this knife probably needs a good sharpening too. You can use it for scraping too. This is mostly what I use it for. It takes the wet off pretty good. <sighs> yeah, I really should like not do this on my freaking waders. <laughs> yeah, there's my barkless stick. But that's all about what I really got. Just these three. And I got a sharpening stone, uh, Lansky sharpening stone, puck, cheap leather gloves. That's my bushcraft fucking pack right there. <laughs> Nothing fancy. I'm sure I'll add to it over the years, but the more I get into it. All right, so I got my Lansky puck. I just dipped it in the pond here. That's working nice. About a fucking edge in that thing. Making a spear. <laughs> no, I'm not making a spear. I'm just 
testing my sharpening technique here. So I'm gonna go flinging my knife into the fucking pond. That would suck. <laughs> there, beaver spear. Get away from me, little wood chucking bastards. Yeah, that's actually a good tip. Ain't gonna kill many beavers with that tip. That's a beaver spear. <laughs> my first bushcraft creation. No, actually, I made a little Y fucking stick. I made another beaver spear. Big beaver spear this time. Even got a little handle on it. Oh, I just dipped it in the water. Sticking in big fucking beavers, you know what I mean? You probably got a horrible fucking technique. I know you're probably all laughing at me watching this, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't think I have more of an edge than I had. Oh yeah. I actually got an edge. I had better technique when I had it this way than I did when I had it this way. <laughs> I'm not losing a light, but I mean, it's just clouding up. And it's just like this thick haze in the fucking sky. And shit ass light, if you ask me. I mean, there's like no fucking wood to really play with over here anyway. So I want to play with that saw. So I want to go find some big sticks to go play with. I am deep in this shit here. Middle of fucking nowhere. This is actually my bird ambush. If you remember my bird ambush vlog, if you ever watched it. This is out here somewhere. Get up on this log here. Whew. <laughs> Let's see, we need to cooperate with each other there, Perker Bush. Set up camp right here. I think this is my tree. This is my bird ambush tree. Yeah, that hurts that one. Take a look at my cool tools. We're gonna play with this guy. He's the only one I ain't played with yet. Yeah, that's the one I wanted to play with the most. And I see the perfect little fucking tree right there. This guy's pretty fucking dead. You see? I hope I'm even on camera. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Man, that's some pretty soft ass wood though. You really don't even need to take real pressure on these things either. This is the last thing you want to do is make them bend. So you just let the edge of the saw do the fucking work. All right, I just cleared out this whole fucking area right here pretty much. Two, three minutes, something. <laughs> I think I could reach it out. Tip the camera up. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to scratch an ND filter. They got big motherfuckers too. These the smaller ones are the pocket boys. Then you got the gom boys. Then you have the big boys, which are, you know, even bigger blades. This was fun. I just want to take a quick look at my tools today. I want to keep it as basic and simple as possible, that's for sure. And on the light side is the other thing too, because the stuff I already got, you know, good three, four pounds worth of stuff, so. Well, it's getting darker and darker out here. Sky's getting more cloudy. Well, I still got a good amount of light here. I should probably get back to the trail. I'll be fine once I hit the trail, but I still gotta get back to that trail. And that was a pretty fucking hairy hike getting to it over here, so. Yeah, I got a good look at our, my tools today. Got to play around with them. Cause I was thinking, you know, maybe I need like the extra large teeth saw and I need maybe, you know, a medium teeth saw for what I got to do. But I think that large saw work, or the large teeth worked fine. I think what I do need is a larger saw. I want to pick up one of them big boys. So anyways, 
Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Tell me I suck. Give me a big thumbs up. I'll catch you in the next vlog. Later.